So similar to the pre-order traversal, you can have something we like to call a post-order traversal. And you can think of it as traversal. The idea is, uh, in a pre-order, we visited ourselves before we handled uh, any of our children. The exact opposite is going to happen when we start dealing with our post-order. So let's say I've built out the algorithm again. I'm at sum n. I actually go to my child first. So for each child of n post-order that child, then I get to, with my air quotes, visit my n. So only after I've gone down as far as I can can I move forward. So in this case, for example, uh, I start at a. Well, I can't immediately visit a. Instead, I have to say, for each child of a. For each child of a means I start at b. Well, I, I can't move forward until I've finished visiting B. And so, once again, for each child. Now since E has no children, it's a leaf node, that means it's going to be the first element uh, that's visited. Then I come to F. Well, once again, F has children. So F is not my first, or my second traversal. It's actually going to be its children. And then since these have no leaves, I can't go deeper. Uh, I go to the next child. The next child has no children, so it is the next visit. And then K. So now that I've finished this, now that I've finished visiting all my children, if you notice, now I can come up and that means I can finally visit F. Since I have finished visiting these children, I can finally visit B. The same thing comes in with A. I don't traverse A yet because I just finished one subtree. I still have two subtrees to go here. So again, I come over here and C, C has children, so that means I got to go down to its children. G has none, so it becomes now my seventh traversal. H, nine, ten, and only since I've finally visited uh, all of these levels, I visit the one, all these leaf nodes, now do I finally get to visit A.